Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's recipe, I'll be showing you guys my secret on how to make this juicy meatloaf recipe. If you want to see it, keep on watching. Be sure to like if you enjoy and let's jump right into it. To begin, we're going to add about two to three tablespoons of olive oil to a skillet. Once that is nice and hot, you are going to add some diced bell peppers as well as some diced onions. I'm going to cook that for about a minute or two, then I'm going to add in some minced garlic. I added the garlic last because I didn't want to burn it. I'm going to cook that for another minute or so. Once my veggies are nice and translucent and soft, I am going to grab that and pour it over my ground beef. I am also going to be adding some seasoned panko bread in there as well. I'm adding ketchup and also we're going to be adding in some, this right here is by Lipton. It's, a, it's called My Secret Recipe. It's so good. You have to add this to your meatloaf, okay? And also we have the Creole seasoning. You cannot go wrong with that. I'm telling y'all, they need to sponsor me. I use it way too much in my videos. Now I'm also adding some salt and pepper and I'm adding some Dijon mustard in there, spicy. Oh, Creole Dijon mustard, I'm sorry. Creole Dijon mustard. And also we're going to be adding some fresh parsley, some Worcestershire sauce, two eggs, and also we're going to be adding some milk in there to make it nice and juicy, okay? Then I'm going to use my hand and mix all of that together. Now we're going to be adding in the milk. The milk is going to make the breadcrumb nice and soft and it's going to produce moisture inside the meat to make this meatloaf juicy. Okay, once you're done mixing everything together, you're going to transfer this meatloaf or ground beef, it's not a meatloaf yet, to a baking tray. Now I do like to add a little bit of oil to the baking tray so I don't, you know, so it doesn't stick on there. And also we're going to make a nice glaze for this meatloaf. I love making my glaze the way that I've been making it. It's been a couple years since I've changed my glaze recipe. That's how I've been making it lately. I know the last meatloaf that I made was a while ago. Okay, so this is basically an updated version of that recipe. To make the glaze, here's what you need. You need ketchup, some Creole mustard or Dijon mustard, or any mustard will do. I'm using paprika as well as some garlic and onion powder. And also, I like to add a little bit of hickory barbecue sauce. Yes, you heard me. This is the secret, okay? And also, I'm adding a little bit of brown sugar in there. Mix that up. This is what you have. Ooh, the best glaze ever for your meatloaf. So I'm going to spread that all over. You can save some as your meatloaf cooking. You can spread it on there um, gradually, but this time I added all of it all at once, and then I'm going to bake this, okay? I'm going to bake it on 350 for about 50 minutes. <laughs> Yeah. 
once it's done baking this is what you have this meatloaf was so juicy there's a lot of juice as you can see at the bottom it was super juicy okay and i'm going to just sprinkle some fresh parsley on there and there you have it the most delicious meatloaf ever and of course you have to let it sit before you cut through it but there it is guys i hope you enjoy this recipe i hope you like it i hope you try it thank you so much for clicking on this video be sure to give it a thumbs up if it was helpful if you learned something today give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here i will see you guys on the next recipe Bye, guys.